Welcome back to Simrai Fashion Academy YouTube channel once again today for another interesting tutorial. So today's tutorial will be focusing on the Kenu neckline as you can see on the screen. So I want to address, uh, address this issue of necklines, okay, once and for all. Okay, so when you see a particular neckline of your choice, you'll be able to, you know, uh, take drafts and have an accurate neckline. So for this Kenu neckline, I come in with a plain pattern paper and I'm going to fold, place it on fold. So I place it on fold and I make a crisp line. The part I just placed on fold is my center front because I actually want you to see how the Kenu neckline is going to turn out at the end of the day. So once I've done that, the next thing I want to do is to take my neckline depth. But before I do that, I'll be creating a border line. Okay, so once I create my border line, I would want to take my, uh, my vertical measurement starting from the shoulder line. This is my shoulder line. So from the border line now, I'll be dropping my chest line, which I'll have at 9 inches. I'll drop my bust point at 10.5. I'll drop my under bust at 14. And then my waist line at 17 inches and I'm going to rule my line across So the purpose of this tutorial is to show you how to create that neckline as you can see So next I'm going to impute now is my I'm imputing my shoulder from the center front My shoulder here is 7.5 and I'll have a drop of 1 inch my natural neckline is 3.25, bust divided by 12, and I'll mark it also on the, um, I'm marking it right here on my, on the paper right here, okay? So I'll come in with my pattern curve and curve into that part, as you can see, okay? So once that is done, I'll connect from here to my one inch shoulder drop. And I'll come over to the chest line to impute my shoulder divide by 2, which is 7.5. And then I'll draw a straight line. So next will be to determine the midline, the midpoint of our shoulder, of our armhole. That is the midpoint, and from there I'll go in by 0.75. So here, I will connect to here, and then my bust circumference divide by 4, because I'm working on the quarter of the body is 10 inches. And I'll make a mark right here, and I'm going to connect what I have right here to, the, to a full armhole. Next, I will do is to connect what I have here on from this point at anywhere on the chest line, okay, to create my armhole. So the rest of this is not our business for this tutorial. So this tutorial is to show you how you can, you know, how you can cut your Kenu neckline and come out with a perfect fit. So for Kenu necklines, Kenu necklines are necklines that are wide at the width. Okay, the necklines are wide at the width. And they are short at the depth. I believe you understand. Just like a kenu, okay? The name kenu neckline came from a kenu. So you can see how the kenu is on the width, is wide, and, you know, it has a short depth. So now, what we are, I always like to do for my necklines, okay? Whenever I see my necklines, you can see this part of the shoulder. This is the end of my shoulder divided by two. You can see that. I love to come in from here. I love to come in from here for my necklines. So from here for a Kenu neckline, I'm coming in by one inch. That makes my neckline wide on the depth, on the width. So now this one inch I've taken away from my 7.5 means I have six and a half as the width of my neckline. So I don't go by telling you to Sometimes some people ask, what is the width of this neckline? 
If you go by, you can see my shoulder is uh, 7.5, 1 divided by 2. Some people's shoulder are wider than 7.5. Some has their shoulder as 8 inches or 8.5 or even less than 7.5. So if you ask someone to take 6.5, for one who has a shoulder of 8 inches, will be having this canoe neckline instead of at 1 inch, at 1.5 or even less than that. So the best way to go about this for all sizes is to come from the tip of your shoulder and come in by one inch, okay? Once you come in by one inch, you have it for any shoulder measurement accurately, okay? So I come in by one inch and on the depth, I might also decide to connect my canoe neckline right on the original depth. So that means it will be sitting right on your uh, on the neckline okay that is the bone or natural neckline so now i want to connect my canoe neckline sometimes the pattern rulers do not actually give us what we want so this is the depth i'm working with and this is the canoe neckline i'm connecting okay so if, if the pattern ruler does not work for you i'll advise you freehand it to have what you want perfectly so you can see the first one I connected at this point, of course, is um, okay. Is at the natural neckline. So, but I wouldn't want to place it at the natural neckline because it's going to be choky at that point. So I come down by one inch from the natural neckline. So whatever your natural neckline is, again, is another uh, thing you need to consider. Some people's natural neckline are deeper than what we have. Some people have 3 by 3, some have 3.5, depending on the bust circumference divided by 12. So now I'll be working from here to here, 1 inch, and from the natural neckline at 1 inch for this particular neckline on the thumbnail. So I will want to freehand, freehand my natural neckline, So uh, sorry, my canoe neckline, so I'll be able to get exactly what I want. So this is what I want. And that is what we have right there on the thumbnail. So now I want to cut my neckline. And I come in like this. And I cut my neckline as you can see. So once that is done, I will come in here. I'm going to cut into my armhole. All right, so to complete this process, I'm going to make this dartless for the purpose of this tutorial. But if you are making whatever uh, uh, dress you are making, please, the, you have to follow these instructions for your canoe neck. So I'm connecting my bust to the waist without a dart, and I'm going to cut on the sides. And I'm cutting on my waist. Okay, so I place this on fold because I want you to see how the canoe neckline is going to look at the end of the day. Can you see how beautiful this neckline is actually looking? And that is your canoe neck neckline. So the width of the neckline we have, my shoulder is 15 inches. So I took away one inch, one inch. So I should be expecting my full neckline to be at... 13. Can you see? It's exactly at 13 inches. You can see that. So that means it's still going to sit on your shoulder at 1 1 inch, 1 1 inch. So once you place this on the fabric and cut, you have a perfect neckline. So from the tip of the shoulder, you can come in by 1 inch or 1.5. It depends on how narrow you, you want the neckline to be. Sometimes you might also connect this neckline right at half an inch, okay, to form. I have seen necklines like that, right at half an inch. Some even connect directly as if there is no, uh, there is no uh, shoulder attached to it. 
So you need to play with your neckline whenever you see them and all that. So this is how we come to the end of this tutorial on Kenu neckline. And I believe you learned a lot on this tutorial once again. So if you are new to this channel, please kindly subscribe. Turn on your notification bell to receive videos like this every day. Like this video, share to family and friends and drop your comments on the comment section and your suggestions as well. So thank you for coming once again and see you in the next video. Bye.